I'm glad you're here. The workouts in this app are based on the same training principles that I use to build strength, endurance, and mobility. They've helped me so much that I sincerely believe they can help you too. In this video, we're gonna go over how to use the app and how to get the most out of it. Topics are gonna include what's inside the app, how to do a workout within the app, how to track your progress over time, how to communicate with me, and what equipment you might need to do the workouts, as well as some additional information that I think you're gonna find useful. So let's get started. The workouts in the app are divided into two parts programs and categories. You'll see those as the circles across the top of the screen when you open the app. Programs are four to six weeks in length and are a series of workouts that you're intended to do in order to achieve a specific goal, such as build strength, endurance, and mobility. By contrast, categories contain single workouts or exercises that are not part of a larger program. You can use these workouts to create your own program or supplement any program you might already be doing. Now let's go over some of the main categories and programs that are currently in the app. Categories include weekly workouts, bulletproof body, warm-ups and mobility drills, and modifications. The weekly workouts category is updated with four new workouts every week. This is usually three strength and mobility workouts and one running workout, so they might vary from week to week. Usually this is what I'm personally doing that week. The bulletproof body category contains a series of strength and mobility workouts designed to guard against common athletic injuries. You can do these workouts on their own or incorporate them into any other workouts you might already be doing. In the modifications category, you'll find a list of alternative movements that you can do in the event you're unable to do a certain movement, you don't have the necessary equipment to perform that movement, or you simply want to switch things up and try something different. The warm-up and mobility category contains a list of my favorite warm-up and mobility drills. Every workout in the app already contains suggested warm-up movements, but those are just suggestions. My belief is that you know your body best, so that's why I included a list of additional movements that you can do instead, so that way you get the most out of your warm-up and you get the most out of your workout. Programs currently in the app include Pump and Run Volumes 1 and 2, Dynamic Pump, and the 7 Day Starter. Each program contains a written summary as well as an FAQ section. This information can be accessed by clicking the Program Circle followed by the Learn More button. Inside you'll find detailed information about the program, including the program's goals and length. I highly recommend you read this information so that you choose a program that aligns with your goals and is sustainable based on your schedule. Quick note about the programs is that they're all designed to be repeatable. It's pretty cool to see how much strength, endurance, and mobility you've gained by comparing yourself to the same workout you performed four to six weeks earlier. And you can easily do this inside the app by using the workout login feature. More on that later though. Next, let's go over how to complete a workout inside the app. First, click the workout you want to do. You'll see an overview of the workout plus any notes I may have made. Click further, you'll see the exercises as well as the number of reps and sets you're supposed to do for the workout. Every workout has videos showing how to do each exercise, and every workout contains suggested warm-ups. You can also track your progress over time using the workout login feature inside the app. Go to the workout and click the login icon in the lower left-hand corner. From there, you'll be able to add your weight, reps, and review your workout login history. You can also review your workout logs by clicking the profile icon in the lower right-hand corner, then the logs button in the upper middle. You also have the option of downloading workouts so you can do them later while you're offline. Do this by clicking the download icon within the workout. You can then access the downloaded workout through the profile button in the lower right hand corner. What equipment will you need to do the workouts? Ideally to get the most out of every workout, you'd have full access to a gym with standard gym equipment. If you don't have that, you can still follow along most workouts from home if you have some dumbbells, some bands, and some other basic gym equipment. You don't actually use a lot of machines that you'd find in a big box gym, so following along from home is actually entirely possible if you have the right equipment. And in fact, at least one of the workouts in Pump and Run 2.0 is designed to be done entirely from home. If you're setting up your home gym, I recommend you get at least these things. First is a set of loop bands. One is enough, but ideally you get a couple of varying resistance levels. Next is a longer resistance band. Again, one is enough, but ideally you have a few with different resistance levels. I also recommend picking up some sliders, a kettlebell, and some dumbbells. Ideally, you also have access to a pull-up bar as well as a bench. How to communicate with me. The best way to communicate with me is by leaving a review after completing a workout or sending me a direct message inside the app. You can send me a direct message by clicking the buttons in the upper right hand corner followed by message. Please keep in mind I might not be able to answer every question but I'll certainly do my best to steer you in the right direction whenever I can. Finally, you'll find some additional resources to check out in the extras tab. These include my Amazon picks, Spotify playlist, and more. Alright, that's pretty much everything. If you have any questions, feel free to reach out via direct message inside the app. Let's go!